Yeah, welcome back. It's another beautiful day. I just want to thank all the beautiful people in the world. Getting on their grind, doing their thing, and being great. Episode 21. Yeah, things are looking up and up. I just want to thank God for waking me up this morning. Because without him, man, nothing is possible. And without further ado, I want to present to you the greatest, undisputed, undeniable tag team podcast champions of the world. We are the Let Loose Podcast. Yo. Hey, man, I'm glad to be in the building today with my brother from another mother. My brother from another mother, Joy and Juggernaut James. And you got your boy Sam, Money Man, Bam, bro. How you doing? How you living, man? Let's get the people something, man, good for the culture, bro. Yeah, what's good, brother? What's good? It feels good to be back. Uh, I'm feeling really good, as a matter of fact. I'm drinking liquor tonight, so beware. Hazard. Ooh, we ready. We ready. One seventy. Appreciate everybody. Thank y'all. Yeah. Yay, yay. Big salute. I love that Big shit. Big salute to the culture, man. Thank y'all so much. Let's get these shout-outs popping real quick. So, regular shout-outs. I want to get to my boy Williams, Clay. Shout-out Nathan Abraham, my boy Money. And the gift card participants we had for the Super Bowl gift card giveaway. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. But first, let me give a shout out to everybody that participated in the gift card giveaway. Nova 193, Technologic 9131, Laser 3121, Sub Zero Dash 9, Boom Boom Doom 566, Dragon King 19377, Crazy Cobra 1128, Spooter Man. 6320, Williams, Clay, Blake, Savage, 3102. Um, thank y'all so much for participating in the gift card giveaway. But uh, let me tell you, uh, Savage, 3102. Uh, yeah, bro, uh, cool edit on the whole uh, Super Bowl uh, prediction there, bro. <laughs> right. I, I mean, I didn't specifically say when the cutoff was but i just thought that it was obvious that when the game starts uh that's it you know so my bad for not elaborating on that but i noticed that uh this deal was being a savage for real and he he put in the exact score you seen exact that Sam? Score. He, he, mm-hmm. I've seen score that. and mvp when it was edited come on man nice try bro I'm come telling on. You. not like that bro i might get not two, like that two pennies for trying bro that's, that's a, it that's a cool edit, bro. And if you and if you're gonna do it like that, bro, at least make the score prediction at least one point off, so it's somewhat believable. I know. Nice try, though. I respect the hustle, but thank you for right. participating, though. But our winner for the gift card giveaway was Cipher ninety four fifty. Cipher ninety four fifty. What up? Congratulations! But check this out, though, man. I reached out to you. I commented. You have to reach out to us because I have no way. Of, we have no way of getting your gift card to you. So check the email below. Email this email address right here so we can get in touch with you so you can receive your gift card giveaway. Cypher 9450, our gift card gift winner. Our gift card winner for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Round of applause. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah, job. Yeah. Good job. Good job, man. Thanks for participating, y'all. Black History Month is still upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful time in February for history. So we're going to keep Black History Month flowing as we promised we would. And uh, today we're going to give you an influential black historian. At least I am. Sam, you want me to kick it off? Man, there's so many people, bro, that we can talk about right now, man. It's it's so crazy, bro. There's so many inventors and painters and artists and singers. But, bro, I I want to go with one of the inventors, man. So this is what I have for you today. Hit me with it. So today I want to go with Mary Van Britton Brown. So she is known for her and her husband for inventing the first security system in 1966 as a solution to high crime rate they experienced in the neighborhoods of Queens, New York. And you know how gully that junk get. So her invention, so her invention used three peepholes to help her see through the door, a camera that could adjust from each peephole a microphone system that allows her to communicate with visitors. So sort of like the ring already, you know, a remote control that allowed her to unlatch the doors and a button that would contact the police if necessary. So her invention paved the way for modern video monitoring, remote control locks, 
push button alarms, instant messages to provide to security providers and two-way voice communication. So shout out and Mary Van Britton Brown and Albert Brown for making a big, big deal for the culture, man, for real. Good pick, man. Shout out to the Browns. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. People, uh, if y'all tune in to Let Loose, you can you can learn a thing or two come the month of February. I, I can promise y'all that, mm, all right? Believe it. You can't untangle my roots. <laughs> there you go. I like that shirt, by the way, brother. I know, you know, we had to bust out the culture shirts, you know. You know, oh, I know, yeah. I know y'all yeah, like that That's super fire, one. bro. That's super yeah. fire. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you, Takia James. You know, my wife, he's always looking out. Any closing right, samba I have today? One on two. Yeah, definitely. You know, we uh, you know we got a match. Any closing samba I got that's not Mason Blue or sports related, chances are my wife picked it out. <laughs> so my influential black historian today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going a little bit Hollywood on us. Well, they turned to Hollywood. Carl Carl Brashear. He was a sailor in the United States Navy, serving in the service for 31 years from 1948 to 1979. He was a master diver. He enlisted in the Navy in 1948, four months before the military was desegregated by President Harry S. Truman. Brashear graduated from the United States Navy and diving school in 1954, becoming the first African-American to attend and graduate and one of the very first African-American Navy divers. He faced constant racism and hostility when attending diving school, often receiving threatening notes on his bunk saying he was, they were going to drown him and everything else. After a horrific incident in 1966, which resulted in Brashear losing his left leg, he re rehabilitated for about two years and ultimately returned to full active duty. Ooh, full move. active duty as a Navy diver, becoming the first amputee diver to be recertified as a United States Navy diver. This man was just the truth. And obviously, a lot of y'all have probably seen the movie made in 2000. It's called Men of Honor, in which Cuba mm -hmm. Gooding Jr. plays Carl Brashear, and it's right. based on his life. But if y'all ain't seen that, that's an instant classic. It's a great classic movie. movie. Robert De Niro is in it, too. It's a great movie. I definitely recommend the watch. Mm -hmm. But um, think about Carl Brashear. He had a great nephew named Donald Brashear who played in the NHL for over 20 years, too. So that family, that, that's a family full of winners right there. The Brashear, mm -hmm. the Brashear tree is strong there, man. So mm -hmm. definitely shout out to the Brashears. Shout out to our, the Brashears. Uh, there we go. There's some history for y'all.